Hey guys, I'm Rasim from RossMirrorTech.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about strings. So, what are strings? Well, strings are immutable objects that cannot be changed, unlike ints and doubles. Once you give a value to a string, it cannot be changed at all. And when do we use strings? We use strings when we want to display text in a program. Now, I'm going to give you guys an example of a program that uses some strings. Now, here I initialize a variable which I called red, and I gave it a string value of hello using the single quote. Underneath that, I have this print code here, and inside the print code is the variable red. So if this works, once I hit run, we should print out hello. So I'm going to hit run, and as you can see, it worked. It printed out hello. Now, we can also use a double quotation. Either single or double works fine. So I'm going to replace the single with the double. Then I'm going to print, then I'm going to press play. Works just as well. Now, there's a third type. We can actually use a triple quotation. We use triple quotations when we want to print text in more than one line. I'm going to give you guys an example of that right now. I'm going to keep the variable red, but I'm going to use the triple quotes. You can either use triple singles or triple doubles. I'm going to use the triple single. Two, three, triple singles. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit enter again. I'm going to write in the first line, I'll write line one. I'm going to hit, I'm sorry about that. First line, I'll type in line one. I'll hit enter. The second line should be line two. I'm going to hit enter again. The third line, sorry about that. Third line should be line three. To finish this off, I'm going to type in another three single quotes, then finish it off with a, a semicolon. Every time you guys type in a statement, you have to have a semicolon. Also, you're going to get an error in the program. Now, I'm going to press play right now. And as you can see, it worked. It printed out three different groups of text on three different lines. Now, we can also use the quotations to initialize a variable inside a, a print code or any type of code instead of using the var red equals we can actually I'm gonna delete that right now I'm actually just gonna delete all this and uh, I'm gonna replace red with a single qu quote and type in hello as you can see I, this is the print code Inside the print code, I have I use single quotations to initialize this inside the print code. So once I press play, it should print out hello. As you can see, it worked. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, and if it was helpful, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, leave me comments. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.